And the Japanese Prime Minister has ordered the government to step in and help contain ongoing radiation leaks from the Fukushima power plant. TEPCO, the company that runs the facility that was crippled in the 2011 tsunami. And earthquake has been unable to prevent contaminated groundwater from breaching a barrier and pouring into the ocean. Well, let's get uh, the reaction from nuclear energy expert Malcolm Grimson, who joins us live from London on this. So uh, why has a plant's operator failed to contain the leak, in your opinion? That it's the natural flow of groundwater from the hills around Fukushima towards the sea, uh, which has reached the plant, which is mixing with radioactive water that's being used to cool the damaged reactors. Uh, and the danger then is that that mixed water continues its passage towards the sea. Uh, now, it's actually quite a challenging job, given the amount of water we're talking about, to prevent that. They did manage to build, in effect, an, under, an underground wall, which has been containing most of this water for the last two years. But that the amounts of water are now beginning to come over the top of that wall, and that's what's beginning to come down to the sea. Um, we don't know at the moment how much the material is. It's unlikely to be connected with any health problems, but nonetheless, Clearly, uh, it's not a good thing that radioactive material should be leaking into the sea. Well, as you just mentioned, it is a complex operation there, but uh, it's also estimated that the cleanup effort may take up to 40 years. Why so long? Oh, indeed. I mean, firstly, because we're still learning, and we will be learning for some time, what actually happened in the plants, and uh, uh, until it's very clear about, for example, how much fuel melted, where that fuel is now, uh, then they won't be able to start designing a long-term uh, 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 approach to, to those sorts of, of challenges. Um, so it will take a long time to put this right. Decades, I think, is the right, uh, is the right sort of estimate. That's a very different thing from saying that the plant will represent a major threat for decades. I don't think that's the case. But in bringing the area back to uh, fairly uncontaminated uh, ground, uh, at the moment, uh, there's simply not enough knowledge to know how big the task is, let alone to be starting to design uh, some of the response to it. And uh, what about the long-term effects of the radiation for Japan and the neighboring countries? Well, in health terms, it's very unlikely that anybody is going to uh, suffer any direct health effect uh, from this. <coughs> Excuse me. Both because the levels, compared to natural levels of radioactivity, uh, are pretty low, uh, and also because some quite effective countermeasures have been taken. People were given tablets to prevent uh, the, the short-term effects there. The main long-term effect will be a decision being taken over what level of contamination is acceptable and not acceptable, which is what will take the time. But I think certainly, uh, even after uh, Chernobyl, the number of direct deaths associated with that accident is still actually only in the few uh, tens, uh, approaching 100, but no more than that. And any longer term uh, uh, issues there will be very minor compared to uh, the numbers of uh, uh, cancers and other effects in the population at large. Well, Japan is Asia's second economy, so how has the Fukushima disaster affected Tokyo's standing? Well, uh, in a very many ways, it has been extremely serious. Uh, for one thing, Japan, even before Fukushima, was a very major energy importer. It's now having to import even more liquid natural gas to take the place of its nuclear output. That's expensive. Uh, its greenhouse gas emissions are going through the roof. It's, it's breaching all of its own greenhouse gas targets because, of course, nuclear power doesn't contribute to climate change, but the alternatives uh, do. And they're also facing power shortages. They've had to uh, reduce power use very dram dramatically over things such as uh, air conditioning. Now, that in itself has uh, health effects, and so there is a vigorous debate about bringing back online some of the existing nuclear power stations. Uh, but Japan is an island without its own natural resources. Uh, energy has always been a massive challenge for Japan. Uh, quite apart from uh, what I think is very clear is that the regulatory structure and some of its major companies clearly were not up to the job, and indeed in some cases I think were, were quite clearly behaving dishonestly. All right, Malcolm Grimston, thank you so much uh, for talking us through this matter. Uh, live from London, that was a nuclear energy expert, Malcolm Grimston, talking to me on our team.